Hey you! My name is Calzone, and welcome back to Raccoon. Now, in the last part, I believe, we were trying to wake up, um... I don't remember her name. Um... Yeah, I actually don't remember her name. Oh well, well, I, I'm sure we'll find out in just a second, because I know that, uh... Sorry, it's been like a week. I don't trust the Kanko. I wish they'd leave already. Okay. What about you two? The Kanko don't belong here. I don't care what kind of good they bring from across the Great River. It's no u It's of no use to me. Uh, oh, hey, Gamma. Gamma! That's her name. Oh my gosh, that's right. Her name's Gamma. Okay. How have you been? I've been fine, I think. Man, I love being able to trade with the Kanko, but there's always a part of me that can't wait until they leave our lands. Who are the Kanko? You. Good morning, dear. How are you? I can speak. How are you this fine morning? Good, thank you. I just stopped by to see what the Kanko traders brought this time. Hmm, yes. Well, please be careful, Gemma. The Kanko Leavers may look like us, but inside they are, they are very different. They aren't to be trusted. Of course, Alder. Uh, I feel like there's a little misconception going on here, for sure. Can't go carpenter. Would you believe that it took 500 syllabaries to dye that cloth? I helped my mom dye it, and my hands were purple for weeks. Oh, um. Are you okay? Do you need help with anything? Oh. I'm sorry. I'm just not supposed to... Not supposed to talk to strangers. I understand. Well, my name is Winston. Winston! That's his name. It, it's been a like a good week or so since I've played this. I'm Gemma. Now we're not strangers anymore. Hey, do you like flowers? Oh, I love them. I have a garden at home. I tend to every day. Now that we're not strangers anymore, I have a gift for you. Come with me. Uh... <laughs> is this recreating how they met? Go to the house. Go in. Oh, wait, hold up. I'm playing... Playing the kid. I don't know his name. I don't think it's ever given in its name. Let's go down. Hold up. Uh. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't. I'm gonna push that. Or something. What is going on? I'm gonna go back up here. Am I missing something? Wow, it is just deathly quiet. Why did it get deathly quiet? Anything? The flower, maybe? What's the flower do? Um. Go down. There! Oh, well, okay. I'm just dumb. Would you like to jump down? Yes. Just really dumb. Oh, shoot! I did not think this was gonna be a thing. So, let's... Come on, buddy. Go a little somewhat faster. Go this way. Go down, go down. Let's shut it off with the thing. Uh, 
All right, some really weird stuff is going on because, uh, yeah, we were switching between the two. We read that note and it said, like, the parents were concerned about not going, found the gate key. Uh, they didn't want her going to this event, I believe. Let's get cool. Let's go through the door. Back to Raccoon. Yeah, they didn't want to go to have her go to this event because it was just gonna. Be... Oh, Gamma, you made it. I was worried about you. Oh, I've been waiting all spring to share this with you. All spring. Come this way. They shouldn't be able to see us from here. What are they doing? Are they on a date? <laughs> Have you ever heard of the Hik... Hikar... Hikarabani? K Hikarabana? Hik Hikarabana. No, I haven't. Hikarabana is the name of the Kanko tribe's most important festival. It's named after a very special flower that grows every spring. Look down by the riverbank. Do you see those big flowers? Is it uh, these? Winston, they're so beautiful. And they're glowing. Every year, the Kanko Luna flies lay their eggs inside those flowers. Come spring, the eggs hatch and the Luna flowers and the Luna flies feed off of the nectar inside. But until they learn how to fly, the Luna flies are weak and vulnerable. So it's the Luna flies that make the flowers glow. Yes. But the really special part is about to begin. The Luna flies and the Hikaba Hi Hikari Bana are actually very good friends, you know? What do you mean? In return for food and shelter, the Luna flies. Help the Hikab. I oh my gosh, I'm gonna keep messing that up. Before they fly away, as they practice learning how to fly, they literally lift the flower up with them. You're lying. No, no, it's really true. As the flower floats through the air, the Luna, f the Luna flies flutter, fluttering wings help spread the flower's pollen across the land. Gemma, look. Ah, uh, look at that. I've never seen anything like this in my life. So beautiful. Thank you, Winston. I'm so glad you could finally see it. Hey, is there someone over there? Uh oh, uh, they heard us. Quick, follow me. Gamma, just keep going. I bet we're learning of her story. Oh my gosh, I don't like the way it's pulsating. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure we're learning the story about um, Gemma and how she ended up in the hospital, but through the world of Raccoon. Looks like someone's letter. Read it? Yes. Hi, Mom and Dad. How are you? I'm really enjoying studying abroad here in Japan. The people are nice. I'm getting good grades. I sure miss the Korean food, though. Did you know that Korean restaurants here, uh, they make you buy the appetizers? Even the kimchi. Isn't that weird? Oh, and I met a girl. I really like her a lot. I'm sure you will, too. Anyways. Ugh. You got a stuffy nose all of a sudden. <laughs> Anyways, I'd better I better get going. Take care. <laughs>
Lumpy Dolph, Winston. Fill the sink with water? Sure. Let's go up to the locker. Can I not open it? Open the locker? A stack of newspapers. Oh my gosh, it's actually. March 12th. Police had confirmed 1,480 people missing across the affected areas. It is feared that the final death count could rise sharply once a full picture of the catastrophe emerges. A stack of newspaper clippings to page two. March 14th, the NSA said the number of people exposed to radiation was expected to rise. Workers in protective clothing scanned people arriving at evacuation centers for radioactive exposure. March 15th, it only took a few minutes for the 30-foot wave to, to wash the town away with terrifying force. Okay... A small thirsty house plant. Well, I don't... Do I touch the undulating crap? Do I have a bucket? Fill the empty bucket. Oh my gosh! I've got an empty bucket. I did not know that. Water the plant? Yes. Looks like this it's still thirsty. Alright, we're gonna keep doing this over and over again. Fill the sink with water. Yes. Fill the empty bucket. Yes. Come up here. Water the plant. Yes. Guessing we're probably gonna be breaking through the ceiling. Yes. Go up here. Climb up. Yes. Oh, I guess I could have just climbed up in the first place. A large toy bear with two heart-shaped pink get well balloons. This is weird. Oh, shoot. Are we going to find out, like, what's going on and what the deal is with... Winston, your mother and I have noticed that, well, you've been spending a lot of time with that, uh, Il... Ilbo girl? Lilbo? I don't... Ilbo? I think that's Ilbo girl. Gemma. Yes, I really enjoy spending time with her. I feel like we have a bond. I've never felt that before. Well, we're happy that you found a good friend. No! <laughs> But, Winston, she is a friend, am I right? What do you mean? Winston, we're open-minded Leibles. We know that trading with the Ilbo tr tribe has many benefits. I bought some very nice artwork from an Ilbo woman. Why are you telling me this? Winston, you're young. There are a lot of things in this world that you don't understand. I'm old enough to know that I love her. Have you lost your mind? No. I've never been more sure of anything in all my life. Do you even remember what the Ilbo did to us? To our people? What they, what they show you and how they are inside are completely different. You may think you can trust them, but you can't. Dear, he needs to hear this. It's for his own good. No. What did you say? Gemma is not like that. That's not how she is. You leave me no choice. You are no longer allowed to see Gemma. Not as a friend, not as anything. No! Uh! It's just Romeo and Juliet! That's what it is! <laughs> no! Go see Winston! I can't let them see me! No! Go see Winston! What? Why? 
Can I interact with anything? I don't, I don't think so. I don't... Why? <laughs> An empty bucket. Patient log. Gemma will have to be transferred as we cannot provide necessary treatment for her at this facility. Oh, they hate me. Whoa. Did they really come for me? Or did he really come for me? I'm so alone. I'm so afraid. Rah! What's going on? <laughs> what? I didn't. Oh shoot, I actually like have to avoid them, I think. The door is locked. Okay, well, let's do some uh High Speed Red Egg! E there we go. Okay, cool. Um This is like weird. What? No, I wanna go okay, I need to control this with the keyboard. Honestly, let's go down in here. Please don't come down to kill me. Open the locker? Yes. Weathered a weathered journal lays by itself. Read it? Yes. March 20th. Our small generators are pumping water out of the basement at a rare at the at a rate of about centimeter an hour. We can compensate for for some of our losses by improvising, by improvising. Unfortunately, we've still lost 11 patients this week to the harsh conditions. Jeez. But what, uh, is this the hospital that uh, staff from Vina updated? Will you still remember me, remember me when it's all over? What? <laughs> Why is this so depressing? <laughs> All of a sudden, what the crap? I guess we'll go jump down the, climb down the beanstalk. Hey, V. Mm. I'm not gonna go that way just yet. Actually, I probably should go that way yet. Let's go there now. This is just taking a turn I did not think it would. Oh, I have to pull like... Oh shoot, buddy, buddy, we need to get back. Oh, I thought that would just shut off all the stupid water. It doesn't. Yo, jeez. There we go. <laughs> ah. Those spikes are out of the way. We'll go through this one. This. Well, let me go see what the other tunnel has, just in case. Up here. They're the same. So we'll, I guess we'll just go up this one. Yes, let's climb up. The book. Let's go read the journal. March 19th. How long will it be before help arrives? We wrap them in blankets. We work 24 hour shifts. But unless we receive help, I don't think we can hold out much longer. Oh. Oh! It needs to be set to green because it's the green room. I got it. I understand. Climb down? Yes. Yep, there we go. Oh, it's, it's creepy. Yeah, I bet that's what we gotta do. We're gonna find out more story, and on top of that, change the, uh... March 12th, I ventured into the basement today. Much, of my, to, much to my dismay, I found that we had lost far more supplies than I had expected. At this rate, we'll have to relocate several of our patients, but this I fear that the, tr the transfer would be the death of many of them. 
So I'm gonna take a guess that pretty much they brought in a buttload of people because of the radiation. And they just kind of ended up the door is locked. Do I gotta go? Oh, I gotta go back. Probably gotta go back. I'm, I, I'm, it's a, it's a little hard to say what the, I, I can't really pinpoint what the, the story of these two is, but it's definitely, she probably got sick from radiation. I'm just going to take a guess. Turn the pump. Yes. Ah, uh, then we go back down, maybe? Let's go see if we can go back down. Climb down? Yes. Yes, now the water is gone. So... I don't... <laughs> Oh, we can go into there now, because this was flooded. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm gonna just use the arrow keys, it's easier. Now the gate is open. Cool. So let's make our way over here. I really can't. I'm not sure if she went to leave and she got the radiation poisoning. And I, I can't really say for sure if that was her. Because it seems like it might have been... I don't know. I can't, can't really say. What do the papers say? Alright. Wait. You're gonna have to move them. They won't make it through the night. Take the back exit and check the staff bulletin board for access codes. If the water doesn't reach the second floor, we should be okay. We'll hang on as long as we can. What? G Excuse me, I'm in a... Uh, okay, uh, 1480. 1480, I'm gonna guess that's what it is. Excuse me, I would appreciate it if you didn't. The door's locked. Shoot, shoot, shoot. <laughs> no, uh, I don't freaking, okay. No, oh gosh, oh frick. Maybe 480. Maybe that. Oh, the bulletin board's right there. Emergency. Oh, 289. Two. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay. So 289. 289. 289. 289. Yeah. Yeah, those guys aren't terrifying at all. Okay, come on. Okay, so two, eight, nine. Okay, fast code accepted. Cool, 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 cool. You guys can't get through, and I am safe. Anything here? Nothing? Okay. Guess we'll continue on. Read, make sure to read the bulletins. There's 371, 371. 371. Go through the door, come on. One, two, three, seven, one, okay. Accepted, cool. What was that? What? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Oh, they're getting married? Winston of the Canco. 
Gemma of the Ilbo, even though your families disapprove of your union, the heart of the forest has heard your pleas. Because your feelings for one another are pure and true, Morizora has allowed me to perform the ceremony of the envoy. That today in the forest you may be wed. Oh, that is adorable. What's going on? I'm so happy right now. I want nothing more in the world to be here with you. Oh, parting today will be the most difficult thing I've ever done. But I promise you, Gemma, once we've walked through all of the seasons once more, I will meet you on the River Isle, and we will start our lives together somewhere new. Oh! Hurry, Gemma. You must go now before your family finds us. I love you. And I you. Oh! It's adorable! But also, what's going on? Be safe, Gemma. Oh, shoot. That was, like, low-key. Really cute. <laughs> oh, we're okay. Yeah, we're okay. <laughs> but I promise you, Gemma, once we've walked through all of our seasons once more, from spring until winter, I, you, I will meet you where we first met, and we will start our lives together somewhere new. Okay. There's flowers. Note is attached. Read it. I hope you enjoy these camellia flowers. They're the only ones in my garden that bloom during the winter. During winter. And you switch that to winter. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, man. I'm guessing I should probably have it set to the, open the locker. Yes, a page from a pamphlet labeled uh, Sendai Summer Events, Tanabata Star Festival. Inside is a thin strip of blah, 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 writing on it. Read it? Yes. Uh, Gashiki no Tanzaku uh, no tanzaku Watashi ga Kaida. Oshi sama kira kira sora kara mira mira uh, material. I'm just gonna walk out. Should I go back through the door? The door is gone. Okay. Are these doors? These are doors. Oh my gosh. I didn't even know those are doors. Neatly wrapped gifts. Okay. Oh, through all four seasons. I get it. Okay. You had winter, summer, and I believe that was spring. That was spring. Or the, and this is fall. Yes. I get it. I understand. The door is gone. But I, uh. Oh! No, 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 I have to do them. Okay, okay. F promise you from spring until winter. Okay, I think I need to activate them in a very specific order. So let me deactivate all of them really quick. From spring until winter. From spring till winter. Okay. So this is spring. Pretty sure. Then is summer. Then fall. Go through the door. Jeez, kid. Then winter. You did it! I am a smart boy. I know exactly what I'm doing. Ooh. 
Winston. Oh, Winston's dad. This has gone too far. This has gone far enough. Dear, wait. If we do this, Winston may never forgive us. This is for his own good. I'm not letting my only son run off with an ill bow. I'm going to put a stop to, to this once and for all. Hey, Dad. Where are you going? Just out for a walk. I need some fresh air. With a packed bag? It's in case it gets late and I need to camp out. You're going to meet that Ilbo girl. Girl. Yeah, yeah. Aren't you? Don't lie to me. Her name is Gemma. And yes, I'm going to meet her. We're going to start a life together far away from here. Dad, where are you going? Since you aren't mature enough to make these decisions on your own, I'm afraid I'm going to have to make them for you. What are you talking about? Dad? Dad, wait, it doesn't have to be like this! Huh? No! Please don't do this! You have to let me out! Gemma. <laughs> ah! Oh, there's Gamma. Okay. Oh, that's why I think... Hold up. Gamma! Don't try to stop me. Gamma, wait! Gemma, have you lost your mind? Please, I know what you're doing, and I understand. But this... But it's not safe to go there right now, you know this. What other choice do I have? Mom and Dad would never allow me to be with the with a Kanko. Our whole tribe looks at him like he's some kind of monster. But I love him. I'm sorry, sister. But I have to do this. <laughs> it hatched. I'll do whatever it takes to reach you. Gemma! Gemma! Gemma. I'm so sorry I was late. I'm so afraid that your last conscious thought was that I had abandoned you. Gemma, if you can hear me, I never once stopped thinking of you. I promise, I did everything in my power to reach you. Please, please know this. Hey. You kids okay? Hey chief, there are some kids on the beach. They don't look so good.
Hello? Are you talking to me? Yes. Are you Gemma? You you can hear me? Yeah. Oh, that is such a great relief. The only person who seems to be able to hear me is an old man named Uma. I asked him if he would bring me something that was very dear to me. Your wedding ring? How did you know that? Winston thought someone had stolen it, and he was so worried and very upset. I feel kind of bad now because I thought Uma had stolen it. But I guess he actually was bringing it to you after all. Wait, you know my husband? Who, Winston? Oh yeah, he's my neighbor. He's always been really nice to me. You know, he misses you a lot. Thank you for coming to visit me. It's really quite lonely these days. I'm sorry. Oh, don't be. Your company has cheered me up greatly. Might I ask you one favor before you go? Of course. I would very much like for Winston to see what was inside the box next to my bed. It's locked, but you can open it with this. You see the Gemma's box key. I'll make sure to open the box and bring him what's inside. Thank you so much. Gemma, can I ask you something? Sure, anything. When you feel lonely or, or scared, what do you do to feel better? Hmm, well... Sometimes I hum this one song. Would you like to hear it? Yes, please. Take care of my friend, or take care of my friend. <laughs> See you soon, Gemma. Oh! They've been helped. Gemma's box. Oh! No! <laughs> What are you two doing in here? Wait. Where did you get that? Did that come from Gemma's box? Uh, I... It was the flower I sent to her. She received it. Then that means... She knew that I came for her. Thank you so much for showing this to me. It means more than you know. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to help the villagers before. I realize now that I must try my hardest every day. Come talk to me outside, and I'll, s and I'll see about building you that boat so you can talk to Tony. Again, thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh! That's so good. How can I help you? Can you build this boat? Sure thing. You'll be my first customer in ages. Bring me a hundred pieces of bamboo and 
and sail to get to where Danielle, Danielle, the seamstress, will sew a sail for you if you give her this pattern. You received the sail pattern. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I got 12 bamboo, so... Um... Oh wait, no, I need to go back the other way. I need to go right back in the door. <laughs> I... Sorry I got, like, deathly silent there. It was just... That got, like, really heavy really quick. <laughs> So, all right, let's go see, let's go see Danielle and get a thing. Uh, I think she's in here. Yeah. Danielle, hi. Hey, kid. Look at this Uh, wait, is that a sale pattern from Winston? Yep. Does that mean he's decided to start building boats again? Hmm. I think so. Well, that's certainly good news. Anyways, I can make you a sail, but you gotta bring me the materials. Get me three sheets of Corsal, Corsal wool from the Sky Ranch, and I'll do it. Sky Ranch? Uh, yeah. Where they keep the core shells in their face. You look like you've never been there before. I haven't. Ha! Okay, kid. Here's what I got to do. Here's what you gotta do. You gotta find a really tall emerald beanstalk. And that should get you there. They usually grow at the top of the village where the cliffs meet the horizon. Only problem is that the storm knocked most of them over, so the villagers have been planting new ones. Those might take a while to grow. Okay. So, then let's head up here. Uh, one day I'll join the Label Protection Agency. Don't tell anyone this, but... I think I'm really close to figuring out where those their secret hideout is. I'm a beanstalk sapling. I bet I've got to go back to the normal world. In for some reason, let's go back to the uh, the hospital. Let's go back to the hospital, and I bet from there we will maybe plant something that might make this go a little bit faster. Also, I should go talk to uh, um, Winston. Oh my gosh! That's the plant! Oh my gosh! That's the plant! Fill empty bucket. Oh my gosh. 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 I didn't even think about that. A healthy house plant. I bet there's some in each room or something. Let's go talk to Winston. I want to see if anything has changed with him in this, in the real world. Gosh dang, that, that whole part just... <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, hello. Can I help you with anything? What's up? I heard that you created an entire set of armor out of paper. That's quite impressive. Oh, hello. I can... Uh, hey, nurse. Uh, what's up with Gemma? Um... Do you have anything? Hey there. What's new? Did you hear? Winston found Gemma's wedding ring. Turns out it was on her finger this whole time. The weird thing is that she never had it on before. Winston kept it in a box for- Ugh! What the crap? <laughs> Winston was so relieved. Oh! Oh! Plant! 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 Water plant! Water plant! 
A healthy houseplant. Okay. I... Oh my gosh! This game is cool! <laughs> Let's head over into this room. Okay, so there's not a plant in here. Okay, yeah, I don't care. So there's not a plant in there. I think I have to do one more plant and then it'll complete it. So I'll be right back once I find that plant. Oh, wait, wait, hold up. Let's break this down. What's in here? 25G. Okay. I guess nothing much was actually in there, but uh, I will accept all of that. I'm gonna go check on the plants really quick, see if maybe it grew. Let's head up here. Keep going. Oh yeah, climb the beanstalk? Heck yeah. Oh, oh this place is nice. Tall creatures from across the sea. What can I help you with? Oh yeah, this music's bopping. Hmm. Uh, so you're looking for a Korshaw wool, eh? We've come to the right place. Normally, I would charge, but it's not every day that you got to meet giants from across the sea. Three sheets of Korshu on the house. Thank you. Was that it? <laughs> Was that actually it? I have a feeling I probably can't go over here yet. Sorry, I'm still repairing damage. Okay. Collect wood. Just collect the wood. I don't know what that did. But I guess we're going back down. Oh my gosh, is Tony the next one we're going to meet? Let's go talk to our wonderful friend. Hey kiddo, can you make me a sale? Would you like to exchange through Korsha? I got it, you received a sale. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Now let's go see Winston. Winston! I got everything! Come here! How can I help you? Build is a boat! Fantastic, you have all the materials. Would you like to exchange these for the boat? Uh, of course. One moment, please. Here's your new boat! Heck yeah. Ride the boat to Tony's Island? Yes! I bet Tony is the next one we're probably gonna be helping. Most likely. Tony! What are you doing on my island? Get out of here! Now you wait just a second, Mr. Bear. Hmm? That's no way to talk to a couple of nice people who just came across- who just came to visit you. Wait. You came to visit me? Yes, of course. We heard that you could use some visitors. Oh, um, thank you. But uh, I'm busy. I gotta find something I've lost, so you should probably get out of here. What are you looking for? That's none of your beeswax, kid. Perhaps, if you told us, we could help you find it. You'd really help me? Of course. Oh. Well, well, I guess if you want to help me, that would, that would be... That would be nice. But you better not laugh at what I'm looking for. We would never do that. Okay. I lost a music box. If you could help me find it, I'd be very grateful. We'll do everything we can to find it. Thank you. Um, isn't that in his... I think that's in his room. I believe that's actually in his room directly. Uh, so let's go back. Yeah, let's go over. Okay, let's go over to Tony's room. Pretty sure that it that it's in his room because he talked about it. I know he did. 
Come on, go through the door. It's right there. What the heck do you think you're doing in my room, kid? Get out! Figures when I want. Oh, okay, yeah, I've already read that. <sighs> yeah, I've already read that. Okay. A broken music box. If you touch that music box, I'll break your hands. So we need to get him coffee. I think that's the goal here is get him coffee, calm him down, take the music box and give it to the bear. Maybe. Don't know. Unless I go talk to Winston. Panky, do you have, uh, do you have, uh, yeah, what's up? I used to work for Big Rap, and your restaurant pays really good, and you need something? No? What? Oh, wait, can I buy coffee? Am I able to? Is that a thing? Because I know that I've got, like, buttloads of G. <laughs> Hot coffee! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! There it is! Buddy, I'm giving you your coffee! I'm coming! I'll be your friend! There's your coffee! What do you think you're doing? Get out! Is that coffee? For me? Oh, well then. Hmm. Thanks. He smiled! That's mine. It's a music box, but it's been broken for ages. Hey, kid. What is your job? My job? Are you serious? I'm a retired pilot. I used to run a small business selling airplane parts. I've even built my own plane. Haven't been up in ages, though. Uh, what's your favorite food? I hate everything now. Nothing tastes good anymore. But I used to like crab cakes, with real chunks of crab. Not that fake stuff. Can I help you somehow? Help me? Kid, I don't think anyone can help me right now. Heh, <laughs> you're not gonna leave until I give you something to do, eh? Okay then. You see that broken music box over there? You look like a build, uh, budding engineer. See if you can fix it for me. That ought to keep the kid occupied long enough. Take the music back. Oh yeah, let's take this and we're gonna fix it for you. We're gonna go to Motizardis Forest and I'm gonna fix it. Whoa, whoa, wait! No, we'll bring it to the bear! Or should I bring it to him? Should I bring it to him, you know, fixed? I should probably take it to him fixed first. Wait, no, 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 who was a budding engineer? I can't remember which one of them was a budding engineer. One of them actually, somebody said they were a budding engineer or something. Oh my gosh, and I can't remember who it was. Was it Winston? I don't think it was Winston. You know what? We're gonna go to, uh... We're gonna go to him. Welcome back, guys. What can I make for you? A pickaxe! I don't have the right materials to make this item. You can see the sign next to me if you'd like to know what materials. Tool menu. X. Cambor sticks. Nightstone. Oh, pickaxe. Cambor sticks. Lumen rock and nightstone. Don't know where to get any of that. I genuinely can't remember who... Somebody... Oh my gosh, I can't... I can't remember who it was that would could fix stuff. There was somebody that could... They're... They're... A, wait, what about a cave bud? Would a cave bud... You know what, I'm gonna go give it to him. I bet it's gonna imply like, Hey, well you can go fix it over here. Go to Tony's Island. Hi, Tony. You came back. And you brought the music box. There's a problem, though. It's broken. 
Don't worry now. I'm sure we can figure out a way to fix it. Do you know anyone around here who can fix mechanical things? Well, there is someone, but... Bit. I haven't exactly been that nice to him in the past. I see. Well, perhaps we can go talk to him for you. You would do that? For me? Well, we've come this far. I don't see why we should give up now. Okay. Well, Blacksmith Jackie over in Liebel Villa. I knew it! He's good with that kind of stuff. I freaking knew it. I just wanted to take it to him, period. All right, so let's make our way back. Let's go back to Jackie, where I had started in the first place. So let's make our way down here. Go up. Jackie! Uh, <clears throat> I'll take that, uh, just in case I need it. Jackie! Welcome back, guys. What can I do you for? We need your help. For you guys? Anytime. What would you need help with? Do you know how to fix music boxes? Hmm. Well, I could certainly try. What seems to be the problem? I'm not really sure. It looks like the wind-up part is all rusted over. And actually, maybe you should just have a look at it. <laughs> you show Jackie the bird of the music box? Hmm. I see what you mean. Well, I'll see what I can do. Okay, I have good news and bad news. The good news is, I was able to fix the box itself. It's all nice and new and shiny. Unfortunately, the spindle is broken. Did you run out of materials? We could go find some more for you. Ah, uh, if only it were that simple. You see, the spindle is like the brain of the music box. It's a small cylindrical piece covered with pins that pluck tiny combs to produce music. As you can see, the spindle has been broken to the point where you can't even see where the pins were originally placed. Ever since, and since I don't know the music, I have no idea where to place the pins now. If you could teach me the music, I could rebuild it for you. Hmm. I don't know the music, but I know someone who would. Mom, let's go back to Tony's Island and see if he can teach us the music. Good idea. Come back to me. Uh, come back to me when you know the song and I'll fix the spindle for you. Thanks, Jackie. We will. I have a feeling. He might have forgotten. He might have forgotten what it sounds like. So, I, I guess we're just gonna play the back and forth game, so... Yeah. This is... I gotta say, I'm loving this game. I... Um... Like, that... The story between Winston and, um, uh, Gamma, gosh, that was good. I can't wait to see what these other ones are. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. Have any luck with the music box? Yeah, Jackie was able to fix everything except the tiny part inside that makes the music. The brain part. But the good news is this. The, but, blah, 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 blah. But the good news is that we all have, all, all we need to do is teach him the music and then he can fix that too. Can you teach us the song for your music box, Tony? Uh, uh, I knew it was too good to be true. Calm down. What do you, uh, are you saying that you don't remember the music that plays? I used to, I really did, but I'd forgotten. I can't believe that I've forgotten. Do you know anyone else who might remember it? Tony? There is someone. She lives on the other side of the forest, out by the hot springs where Kisaburo hangs out. Her name is Christina. We'll find her. Thank you. Oh, and, and hey, I don't have much in... I don't have much in the way of kid things, but I don't... But why don't you take this? You received a rainbow marble! 
Oh my gosh! Kids play kids play with marbles nowadays, don't they? Is Tony's Island? Okay. It's Uma! Hey kid! Uma! I'm really sorry about earlier. I didn't know. I just Eh. Water under the bridge. Look, I got a scoop to boot. Oh my gosh, I'm just... Huh. Look, I got a scoop to boot, but I thought you might need some more directions. Directions? You are looking for Christina, aren't you? Oh, yes, we are. Well, the path that leads is blocked off, so you're gonna have to find another way. Check the hospital. There was a cold window blowing from Kisa Burrows. Whoa! I went in there earlier. I can speak English correctly. Doodles. Okay, I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna quickly go to his house. Or not, not his house, but I'm gonna go to Keith Sparrow's room. And then I will. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I need to give you the marble. Give me the marble. Give me the marble. Give me the marble. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey there. I brought you something. Give Sue the rainbow. You give the rainbow marble to Sue. Rainbow Toyland. I think you would really like Rainbow Toyland. It's the most magical store in the whole universe. Wow. What's it like there? Well, for starters, this toy store is in the sky. And the only way to get there is to find a special mountain where the end of the rainbow touches the ground. The rainbow's like an escalator. You step on it and it'll carry you it'll carry you into the clouds. Wow. Then each person rides on their own tiny train across the land bridge. Which leads you to a huge room full of toys. What kind of toys? Oh, all sorts. Kid-sized houses, teddy bears, robots, building blocks, game boards, or board games, tiny pianos. Do they have marimbas? What's a marimba? It's kind of like a piano and a drum. You hit the notes with these sticks called mallets. Oh, I think I saw those there. If we ever go, we can play music together. I could go there too? Of course, you're my friend, so you're always welcome there. Oh! Oh, my friend! Oh, I'm still here, sweetheart. We can always, we can play lots of games. Thank you. Or, thank you. <laughs> I don't know why that got me. <laughs> thank you. I would love that. You know, games are good and all, but you gotta be careful not to play them too much. Especially the risky ones. Risky ones? Yeah, some games make you lose lots of money. Monopoly. <laughs> Sometimes the person playing the game, they play it so much that they forget to spend time with their family. Sometimes those people love the games more than anything else. I'm playing a game right now. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> But it's not like that. It, but it's not like that at Rainbow Toyland, so you don't have to worry about that at all. Thanks again for bringing me this. For bringing me this, it's really special to me. You're always so nice to me, bringing me marbles and listening to me talk about my planets. Sorry I talk so much. I wish I could give you something more, but for now, I'll just give you my last piece of candy. I heard the shift leaders trying to fix the wall in Kisa Burrow's room. Ugh! I'm not sure if you still need to snoop around the, for secret doors. If you do, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you. Jeez, I, I don't know. I'm flubbing up all of a sudden. I'm. If you do, I'm sure you know another one of these will come in handy. <laughs> Sue gave you peanut juice. <laughs> Thanks, Sue. No problem. Come visit me anytime. Good luck with your new wish. 
Alright, so I think I'll call it there for right now. This game got very, very interesting very quickly, especially with that whole, um, uh, Winston and Gemma part. And now we're dealing with Tony, so I'm actually glad to kind of see where this goes. Like, the this is really, really, really good. But uh, I will have to continue that in the next episode. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button down below. If you want to see more videos that I've done, check in the description or in the annotations in the video. And I will catch you guys in my next video. See ya!